Hi and thank you for watching the Bite Size Beginner's Guide to the HP Reverb G2. In today's video number 3 we're going to show you how to connect the actual PC VR headset to your computer. Thank you for joining VR Essentials. We talk about VR educational entertainment and the practical uses of virtual reality. If it's your first time to the platform, very nice to meet you. And of course, I'm always thrilled and a big welcome back to you if you're a regular subscriber. In the previous video, we spoke about how to get all your software set up before we connect your HP Reverb G2 to the computer for the very first time. But without further ado, as today's video states, we're here to actually get all the hardware set up done. So let's go. First, let's put the batteries inside the controllers. Facing the side of the controller that doesn't have the trigger, place one thumb on the top part and then the other on the bottom part, as you see on the video, and then just slide away from you so that you can open the compartment. And just a quick tip in case you missed it in the previous video, that if you're going to purchase rechargeable batteries in the future, to make sure you get AA 1.5 volts and not 1.2 volts, otherwise they're not going to last that long. You will find a link in the description below the like button, which will redirect you to our Amazon affiliate page that I hope you'll find useful in case you do want to go and find some. And then when you're placing the batteries, make sure the minus icon is against the spring, the plus icon on the other side, and then just repeat this for each slot and then place the cover back and slide it upwards gently until you hear a click sound. All right, now that we're done with the controllers, let's just put them aside and move forward with the actual VR headset and connecting the wires inside of it. Now at this point you may want to study the actual instructions that came inside of the box to let you know what cables are going to go where. All right, now it's time to remove the facial interface from the actual VR headset. Do go and check out the previous video as I do show you how to remove it safely. What you're going to notice on the VR headset once you pull up the strap is there's actually a slot there where you have to place one of the cables inside so it connects to the actual PC itself. Okay, before we place the cable inside of the slot, just make sure that you untangle all your cables to make sure there's no knots anywhere and everything is nice and neat and safe. Now grab the part of the actual cable which goes inside of the slot, but before you connect it, make sure you look inside to make sure that the pointy part is facing the part in which it's supposed to go in, otherwise you could damage the headset. As you can tell on the video, for me, I'm holding the VR headset in my left hand and the cable in the right hand, which means that the pointy part is facing away from me. Another quick tip is make sure that when you place the cable in, you go above the actual strap and not inwards of the VR headset, otherwise you won't be able to clip it onto the headset and it will get in the way later on. Once you're comfortable, just take the cable and slot it inside gently until you hear a click sound. You may have to wiggle it a bit here and there in case it doesn't go in straight away, but all in all, it should be very steady, attached inside and not loose in any way. Now that the cable is nice and neatly connected inside of your VR headset, take the ring part and remove it from the back of your strap. Clip the cable with the ring and place the ring back on the strap. You'll see there's a couple marks there where to put it back. And then once you're done placing the cable inside of the VR headset, just pull the strap and place the facial interface back onto it as per the video. All right, now you're done connecting the cable to the actual VR headset. Make sure that there isn't too much cable loose around the ring so it's all nice neatly put there as well. All right, now it's time to connect the other end of the cables into the computer. Now first, let's assume, of course, that your play space is not right next to your computer. And as you can tell in my play spaces, the lights are placed all over the place. I'm also going to show you how to actually correctly place your lights so you get the optimum tracking when you're playing your VR games. So make sure that you are part of the notification squad by hitting the notification bell after you subscribe so you don't miss that next video. Now the next step is to take one or both of the adapters that were provided inside of the box and then just place them on the actual connections of your wires respectively. Now if you're using a PC tower, you'll notice at the back of your computer, of course, there are different HDMI slots and also USB slots. Now make sure, and this is extremely important, that if you have an HDMI card slot inside of your graphics card, to make sure that you connect your cable inside of the graphics card HDMI slot and none of the other HDMI slots whatsoever. This is very important because otherwise your VR headset is simply not going to display anything properly inside of it. And then with the USB slot, make sure that you plug it in inside of a USB 3.0. Avoid USB 2.0 if you can. Now let's move on to the final phase. Go and grab the power cord that came inside the box. You'll notice on the cables that are attached to the computer now that there is some kind of box that serves as a T-junction. Now grab one of the ends of the power cord and place it inside of that T-junction adapter. Now grab the other end and place it in your electric socket. Now when you turn the power on, you'll notice on the adapter that there's a little white LED flashing there, which basically indicates that the VR headset is now powered on. Now this is really exciting. Go back to your computer. You'll notice on your screen that there's a pop-up that came up showing the mixed reality software. 
software. All right, so we're done with the actual setup. Now it's going to be time to actually go inside of the Mixed Reality software to configure it in a way where you'll have the best VR experience as possible. So let's both meet together in the next video and I'll show you how to do just that. Let's go.